What's up guys, today I'll be showing you some of the new features in One UI 6, so this is the beta one. And to get it, you have to go to Samsung's members app, and currently right now it's only for the S23 series phones, so it'll be right here in the One UI beta. Um, yeah, it'll be right here, so you just click on it, register and install, and you must have a SIM card in your uh, S23 as well too. All right, so let's go ahead and just dive into it here. So one of the biggest differences that you'll see, first off, is the new control uh, center. So I think this is a really good move. I think they spaced it out in a very logical way that makes it just, just very easy because they have it. One of the things that I like is that they have dark mode right here and they have eye shield comfort right here as a default next to the brightness slider as well too. And I just think that's a really good move. Everything looks really nice. The Wi-Fi Bluetooth right here. And then to edit your toggles, I just think everything looks clean. You can edit the top or the full row now, uh, which is really nice. Brightness, show always. You can uh, have that option as well too. And the animations, guys, are really smooth as well too. So that's something that um, I really like as well. And when we click right here on brightness, it pulls up the full thing instead of uh, like that little card, which is something that I really like. So that's something that's really cool as well too. And then you can go straight into uh, your brightness settings, screen settings and stuff like that. Um, so I do like the new control center. I think it looks really, really clean. Uh, what do you guys think? I think it's, I think they set it up really nice. Um, all right, so let's talk about the animations. So the animations to me are much smoother. Um, they're really, really nice and really bouncy as well too. Like really bouncy animations on here as well, which is something that I like. And again, it's just a beta, so you'll see little glitches and bugs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking the animation so far. Everything feels super, super smooth and uh, bouncy with One UI 6. All right, so this next one is pretty cool. Um, so basically, you get a little bit more control with the clock. I notice for your lock screen, you can see tap it and then you can move it so you have a little bit more fr freedom with moving the clock application now uh, which I think is pretty cool so I mean it just gives you a little bit more freedom with the customization you can you know just go down or to the side a little bit more it doesn't have to be you know so robotic alright so the next thing is when you go into settings and you go into security so there's a new thing here called auto blocker so, auto blocker keeps your phone safe by blocking threats and other suspicious activity, blocks apps from unauthorized stores. Um, so, this is something that's really good. So, when Samsung phones eventually, you know, when your phone stops getting updates, you really could just turn this on, uh, honestly. And this will help a lot with uh, just security in general. Because that's, that's what I was talking about in the other video. That's one of the main ways people get hacked, trying to get like free apps and stuff like that. So, they download stuff that's not on the Play Store. And um, yeah, so it does a lot of stuff. Message, app protection, block images suspected of containing malware. That's also another way people get blocked with those phishing scams and stuff like that. So I think this is a really good move on Samsung's part. Block software updates by USB cable, uh, blocks commands by USB cable. So definitely a very cool thing that they are throwing here for an extra layer of security. And like I said, this is like probably one of the most common ways people actually get hacked. Now here's another small one, but I think a really good one, a good decision here. So. Instead of going to device care, you can see now they have battery right under display, which I think makes so much sense, guys. So just having the individual battery option right here, it just makes a lot of sense instead of having to go all the way into device care. Um, how did you have to do it? Yeah, click on battery, then you get to the battery instead of just putting it right there because that's one of the things that most people, you know, they check the battery a lot. Um, so I like that. I like that, you know, spreading that out and making it an individual thing. All right, so here's a pretty good one here. So we're going to go into widgets here and we have a new feature with the camera, camera, custom camera photo. So we're going to add this widget here and you can give it a name, you can title the widget. So basically it's just like a kind of acts like a quick toggle for a certain mode that you want. So you can start from the rear front um, and let's say I just want to click on the pro video. So I want my phone to go straight to pro video. So it'll do that. And then a widget background, you can choose select image or you can use the most recent image here. So we'll just use um, this right here. All right, so when I click on it, it'll bring me straight to my pro video mode. 
uh, which is pretty cool. So I do like this. We do have another widget that got a slight revamp here with the weather. Um, so go ahead and find that. It's right here, weather insights. And it just has a slightly different look to it. And the update log says that the weather application now will show like more information, stuff like that. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't use the weather application that much uh, in general, but supposedly it shows more uh, information. Um, yeah, so that's nice and but this one is not resizable though So that kind of sucks um, But this one is this one is resizable All right, so next you do have some changes with the camera application So we're going to go into settings advanced intelligence option uh, So basically what this will do you can see if I can put it down to medium now speed up capture time by doing less optimization and then minimum, take pictures as fast as possible by not optimizing pictures after they're taken. The quality optimization settings above only affect photo mode here. So let's go, let's just take a picture normally and let's see if we can spot the difference in speed. Okay. Yeah, so it should take the picture faster now. So I would say like maybe if you're at a sporting event or something like that, you could turn this on. Yeah, it is a little bit faster. I don't know if it's that much faster to, to actually even turn on, honestly. It needs a little bit of work. Because it's trying to do what Good Lock does, but to me it's not doing it as well. I mean, yeah, yeah, you can feel it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But it, to me it's not as fast as how Good Lock already does it. So I wouldn't use this, like, I mean, it's a beta, so it'll, it'll get fixed. Um, but yeah, so let's go back into settings. We also have this as well too, auto FPS. So record brighter videos in low light conditions by automatically optimizing the frame rate in the video mode. So you can see you can turn it off, use for 30 uh, FPS video only. Um, so you, now you have that option as well too. I'm just gonna uh, leave it as it is. All right, so I do wanna talk about the camera sort of revamp with the look, which I think Samsung did a very good job here because you'd be surprised how many people they think they're shooting in 200 megapixels by default or they think they're shooting in a higher resolution uh, when they're not. So a lot of people will be able to see this now. So when you come in the camera, you know I'm shooting at 12 megapixels. Now I can go to 50 megapixels. I can go to 200 megapixels. So now I think a lot of like non-tech savvy people, they're going to actually be able to see that now instead of it being hidden right here because typically it was hitting inside of here and you would see that option. But Samsung has spaced it out, I think, a little bit more easier for people to understand and this everything just looks clean you see you have your flash your timer I really like how they set this up a uh, motion photo right here you also have your filters right here as well too it's the same thing for a video and able to get to your video just uh, overall just I think a more visually appealing look our action or super steady mode you see our flash and then our settings and then our filters as well too also, what's pretty cool is we also have a new setting in the gallery. So when you swipe up uh, to your photos, it's any photo, you can remaster portrait effect or you can do the object eraser. So, and again, it's just making things a little bit more quicker um, to get to settings that most people would, you know, click on. So you can see here it said nothing to be remastered, uh, object eraser. Let's see if we can erase something. Probably won't be. Well, yeah, I mean, kind of got it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but you just come in here, play around with that. I actually got most of, most of the logo. <laughs> wow. Did a pretty good job, actually. Also, in the gallery, you do have a slightly different look, as you can see here. You got the object erasure, adjust auto. Just, uh, you know, nothing actually new, new, but, um, you know, it is. Just a slightly different look here. You have a couple new text options as well too back here. Um, so I said nothing crazy, um, you know, nothing major, but there is, I think just a lot of cleaning up as far as the uh, UI goes. There was another minor change in the device care storage. And then you can see you have new options now basically uh, to help you figure out what's taking up space a little bit easier. So large files, duplicate files, unused applications in the last 30 days, 
uh, trash and app cache and stuff like that. So that's really nice if you feel like you're running out of storage. Um, what else did I notice? Uh, you also have smart suggestions has been a, like a little bit revamped, I guess. Um, see, it's supposed to work better, and I don't think honestly it's honestly it doesn't look that much different. But yeah, this is supposed to work better apparently. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for all the major stuff. So again, this is just beta one. They're gonna be adding a lot more stuff. So. It could look, a, you know, much different from the actual final version. A lot of this stuff, they could, you know, start just changing stuff. So, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, so be sure to let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.